Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the House of Dolls. Today I am beyond excited for this video because Monster High finally released the Boo Original Creep Reduction dolls and this is my first ever Gulia Yelp stall. Now I have been a huge fan of Gulia for so many years but unfortunately as a kid I wasn't able to get um, the original doll version of her. So when I heard that they were going to re-release her in a crew production version, I was literally freaking out. And I'm so extremely grateful I was able to get my hands on one of her. I would have loved to have two so I could have one in box and one out, but unfortunately I was only able to get one this time. I really hope they do another release of this line because I'd love to get a second one of her. Maybe even a third, we'll see. But I just love Gulia and I wanted to start off my Boo Original Creep Reduction um, doll series with her as she's my favorite and I'm so excited to have her. I was also able to get Spectra and Abby Abominable. Unfortunately, Cleo and Deuce was already sold out when I tried to purchase them, so I didn't get a chance to get my hands on them. But I do have the original set of them, so I'm not super upset about it. If they do do a re-release, which I really hope they do, I'm definitely going to get another one of all of the dolls. But um, for now, I'm just grateful I got the three, and especially her, because she is my favorite. I love her so much. They did an amazing job on her original design, as well as her reproduction version as well. So I'm extremely excited to open her up. I can't wait to do this video for you guys. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you could subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm going to have more Monster High videos coming out soon as well um i have a lot left to film and i'm slowly working on it but um yeah i'm really excited to do this video for you guys today this is like a huge like dream come true of mine to open up my first ever original gulia yelps and i'm gonna call her original because she is the g1 version even though she's a reproduction but She's an OG and I love her. So I just also wanted to mention before I get into this video um, to see like, here I'm gonna grab Spectra, to have in my hands the old looking dolls and their old boxes, you don't understand the nostalgia it gave me. Like I felt like a teenager again when the original G G1 dolls were released, I was in high school and um, I was just so in love with them and I wish I could have collected more, but unfortunately I didn't have a job at the time since I was young and my parents couldn't really afford to get me a ton. But um, just being an adult now and having like these dolls come back out and be in their box, like it just brings back so many amazing memories, so much nostalgia and like if I had a chance to talk to Mattel and give them a suggestion. I would love for them to bring back all the original G1 dolls and have them in the stores. So that way, like, we can re-experience um, the feeling we had when we seen these and we were able to, like, hold them in our hands and pick them out and everything like that. And I feel like it'd be fun to give the younger generation and the newer Monster High collectors the opportunity to experience the G1 dolls the same as we did um, growing up. And I feel like they can both simultaneously exist with G3. And it'd be so fun to have both G1 and G3 dolls in store. But that is just my opinion. Um, I feel like they do extremely well sales-wise. And us collectors would just be absolutely ecstatic. I also believe that, um, you know, newer Monster High collectors would love and appreciate the dolls the same way us older collectors do. But... That's enough of me talking. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the detail on Gulia's box, and then we will do the most exciting part, which is take her out, and then I'll finally hold in my hands a real life G1 Gulia doll. All right, so I definitely feel like G1 boxes are superior, just like the design and thought that went into the entire box is just absolutely immaculate. Um, but we will start with the front, so she has a red and black theme of course and then her little pet is the owl so there's a little owl here and it says gulia yelps daughter of the zombies and then here's her little version of skelet and then right here it says 0725 b-day mix 
and here is where it says Monster High. Freaky just got fabulous on the side of the box. She's got her little light bulb here. This part kind of looks like a brain. There's her little piece, says Boo Original Creep Reduction. She's got her brush in there. This is Sir Hoots a lot, her pet. And the pet is cool because it could actually sit on her arm. And then it says, includes doll stand and diary. Please refrain from pursuing my private musings. And the amazing thing about the G1 dolls is they come with stands that match the doll. So she's got a red stand in her box. Here is the top of the box. It says, uh, translation. I'm not just a comic book fangirl. I'm working on my own comic book series. That's amazing. And she's a zombie. So she goes all the time because, you know, zombies are dead and a little slow. <laughs> The side says Monster High, and then it's got her little cartoon character version of her. Unfortunately, I ripped the box, which is really sad. Um, I forgot how to open up these boxes. I wanted to open it up to make sure her eyes weren't wonky, and she's perfect. Um, this is a little Monster High, like high school logo. This side of the box is just red, white, and black stripes. The bottom just has the manufacturer information and everything like that. And then here's the top, it says Monster High. Meet the frighteningly fashionable teenage children of the world's most famous monsters. Gulia Yelps, daughter of the zombies. And there's a bigger version of her cartoon with little Sir Hoots a lot. It says age 16 in monster years. Pet, an owl named Sir Hoots a lot. The perfect companion, even though he absolutely refuses to be a message carrier for me. Favorite food, brains. Just kidding, I actually have quite the affinity for rapidly prepared mass market cuisine. Translation, I like fast food. BFFs, Cleo Denial and everyone else at Monster High. So this is her beautiful box and I just love the detail of it. As you can see in the background, there's all the little um, Gulia related symbols and designs. They just did such an amazing job. And again, this brings back so much nostalgia. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited to have her. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of the plastic and then we'll look at her still attached to the box and just how everything looks inside before we actually untie her from her plastic ties. All right, so here she is still attached to the packaging and you can get a better look of what's inside the box. Oh, there's the little little brain and light bulb symbol. And then she's got her diary, her stand, everything. I just love it. I really wish I had a second one of her so I could keep one in the box. Um, again, I really pray that I can find another one of hers for original retail price, not scalper price. But uh, again, I'm grateful just to have one and I'm so excited to take her out and like hold an OG G1 doll. I'm gonna keep calling her an OG even though she's a reproduction, but like she is a remake of the original design and she's phenomenal. She's phenomenal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clip her out because I don't do that on camera anymore. And then we will check out her little accessories, her diary, and then Gulia Yelps herself. All right, here's a little toe to head. Dun, da, da, da. She is so perfect, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm just like, I'm freaking out inside. I can't believe I have this doll. Like, she is amazing. She's gorgeous. This is like a crazy moment for me, especially being that I've always wanted this doll. Like, she's such a baddie. I've always said, like, Gulia is such a baddie. OG Gulia. I don't really like the G3 version. She kind of looks like an alien to me. So, yeah. But, like, G1 Gulia is just a, a baddie. She's so fire. Like, look at her makeup. Makeup on fleek. Her juicy red lips. Like, her black and red outfit. She is just amazing. But before we get into her review I want to just go over her little accessories and then read her diary and then we're gonna take a nice good close-up look of Gulia. all right so first this is her red stand it's just the classic g1 monster high stand it's red and there's a little monster high design on the front of it 
I love these stands and like I wish G3 doll, uh, Monster High dolls had stands. And then here's her little Skelet Monster High hairbrush in the same red color. I love the fact that they have hairbrushes as well. I actually gave Gulia's hair a little brush before I filmed the last clip. Super cute. And then here is her little pet. This is Sir Hoots a lot. He's so cute. And like I said, he does sit on her arm like this, which is amazing. And I'm definitely gonna pose him on her arm afterwards. But he's a baby blue and white, and he's got yellow and darker blue eyes. Adorable. So this is Gulia's diary. It says Gulia Yelps. This diary belongs to underneath her little symbols. It says, the private thoughts of Gulia Yelps. Please refrain from reading my diary. And that's the back. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and read this at the end of the video because I don't know if everyone's gonna want to, you know, hear what's inside. So I'm gonna do my review on Gulia first. And then I will go ahead and read through her whole diary at the end. So then you have the decision whether or not you wanna sit through and listen or not. Also, I noticed there's a little red spider web on the top corner, which is kind of a cool little touch. So yeah, these are all her items she comes with. Oh, you know what? I forgot about her bag because her bag is currently on her arm. So I'm actually gonna take this off and show you her bag before we get into looking at her, but it's like a giant um, cassette tape. It's black with this cute little strap with a clip and it just says monster mix with like a red brain in the background. Really cute, I love the bag. But yeah, these are all the items Gulia comes with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at her. And like I said, if you wanted to hear what's in the diary, just stay till the end of the video and I will read everything for you. All right, guys, here is Gulia. I'm gonna start with her hair as I normally do in all my other videos. So her hair is pulled back into a little green headband. Her glasses are falling off. I'm gonna just take them off for now. Um, so yeah, her hair is pulled back in a headband and then her color is this beautiful pale blue with this darker blue highlighted throughout it. Her hair is actually pretty thick, which is nice. The quality also feels really good. It's very, very soft, it's thick. Um, this is the bottom, it just goes past her bum. It's got like a choppy cut, but I think it looks okay. But yeah, that is her hair, it's very, very shiny. And then as for her face and makeup, um, she's just so stunning. She's got like a grayish blue skin tone because she is a dead zombie, obviously. She's got this dark, juicy red lip color. I love her lips. Her lips are just like a staple for me. And then she's got these beautiful blue with like a yellowy green highlight in the center of her eyes. She's got these fierce, kind of like a grayish toned eyebrow. And then she's got this gorgeous smoky eye with a sparkly brow highlight. She is gorgeous. I'd say she's one of the prettiest G1 dolls in my opinion. They just did such an amazing job on her makeup, her design, her look. I just, I love, love, love her. I'm gonna just keep gassing her up because she deserves it. She is gorgeous. And I'm so happy to have her. And then she does here, I'll show you actually up close. She has these glasses. They are just white kind of cat eye frame glasses that kind of flick out at the ends. Reminds me of her owl's hair, as you can see. So I don't know if it's it's like a reference to that, but um, they are really cute on her. I'll put them back on her so you can see. And for once, I will say her glasses suit her. I don't like glasses normally, but like they look really cute on her and they're just a part of her look. They look great. And as you can see too, this is like the amazing little detail that Monster High puts in their dolls. There are a little skelet on each side and even like little dots. Beautiful, I love it. While we're zoomed in, we can take a look at her earrings. She's got these adorable little zipper earrings that are in a hot pink color. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a tiny MH on the earrings. 
again, like I said, the detail they put into these dolls is insane. It's crazy. And then she also has this necklace. It's a silver choker necklace with a pink teardrop shaped pendant on it. As for her clothes, um, she's wearing a off the shoulder long sleeve red, black and white striped shirt with these mesh kind of like half sleeves over top. This one goes, oh, I thought it went through her finger. It doesn't actually go through her finger, but they look really cool. Um, I'm definitely gonna pull this one down because I feel like it's supposed to kind of cover her hands. I love the look. She's very like grungy, but glam kind of looking to me and I'm living for it. She's got the cutest little tank top on. It's white with little red cherries on it with their little green stem and leaves. And it's got a outline design with like a red satin ribbon. And then she's got this cute little, hold on, let me try to zoom in for you. She's got this adorable little white skelet piece in the center with a red bow. Sorry guys, it's really hard to get this zoomed in close enough where you can see. All right, and then she has this belt. This belt is a piano looking belt. So it's white with the little black keys on it. And then in the center, there is a silver belt buckle with a skelet in the middle. Gulia loves music, BT dubs, if you didn't already know. And then her pants are these cute red, they're almost like a corduroy pant with little black polka dots all around it. And then these two black ribbon diagonal stripes on them. And they are um, capris. So they're not full pants, they're just capris. And then last but not least, her iconic Converse looking high cut high heels that are red, black, and white. I actually had lower cut boots like this when I was in high school. I think they're so cute. They look so good. You see the little skelet on the side. They just tie the outfit together so nicely. I love it. She's so glamorous. All right, you guys, here is her holding her little owl in her bag. She's just so stunning. Like I'm so obsessed with her. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying, but like, I'm just so, so happy to have her. Like this is just, this is a special moment for me. Like, I love her. She's just amazing. I can't believe I have her. Like, this is, to me, this is like winning the lottery. And I know I sound so silly and ridiculous because it's just a doll. But, like, I've wanted her for so, so long. You guys have no idea. And, unfortunately, like, to get her from her original doll, like, it's like $500 on eBay. And, unfortunately, I don't have that money to buy a doll. So, when they came out with her as a reproduction... I was just dying to have her and I love her so much. Thank you, Mattel and Monster High so, so much for dropping the reproduction dolls. Um, I really hope you guys release some more and also different characters so I can try to collect all the ones that I wasn't able to get as a child. But it means a lot to me and I love them so much. I also hope you guys release the original ones that you did a few years ago because I wasn't able to get my hands on any of them and I'd love to collect them as well because I don't have most of them in my collection and I would really, really love that. But let me know what you guys think of her in the comments down below. Did you get the Creep Production Gulia? What do you think of her? Are you obsessed with her as much as I am? I just love her. She's iconic. I'm so happy to have her. And yeah, that is my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you could subscribe. I'm going to make a video on Spectra and Abby as well. So you can keep an eye out for those videos. They should be coming out soon. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you so much. Gulia loves you. And if you're still here and you want to hear what's in her diary, Please stay tuned. I'm going to read it right after this. I love you all and I hope you have an amazing day. Mwah. Bye everyone.
All right, so here's Gulia's diary. Let's take a look at page one. It says July 15th. I went to the mailbox to see if the book on monster molecular biology I ordered was there. And by the time I started back to the house, it began to rain. Needless to say, I was soaked by the time I got back inside. Everyone thinks I am so smart, but if I was really intelligent, I would carry an umbrella with me wherever I go. July 16th. I woke up with a monster cold this morning. Ugh. I just wanted to lie in bed and simply undie. Sir Hoots a lot kept me supplied with tissues and books, so I did not have to get up, and Mom even brought me some lukewarm dragon noodle soup, although I'm quite sure it was hot when she left the kitchen with it. July 25th. I started a new book today. Actually, it is a graphic novel. Okay, comic book. It's all about a zombie boy who gets pecked by a radioactive hummingbird and gains the power of super speed. I know it's just a made-up story, but a ghoul can dream, can she not? July 31st. So there's a zombie boy and I have become completely enamored with him. He plays on the basketball team and he is sweet and smart and I get tongue-tied every time I'm in his presence. I attempted to ask some of my ghoul friends what I should do, but all the advice they gave me just seemed wrong. I even thought about sending a letter to one of these teen monster magazines. Dear relationship know-it-all, I am totally head over tombstone with the most engaging zombie boy, but I'm too nervous to talk to him. Please send your most generalized re reply with a solution so diluted that it has no possible application to my current situation. Signed, thoroughly flummoxed in his presence. I did not, of course, send the letter. The last thing I want to do is publicly announce my inability to function in the presence of the opposite sex. It really should not be this difficult, but it does require a certain amount of spontaneity and unscheduled events are not my forte. Oh, wow, this is a long one. August 15th. Today was the day I had scheduled to make a trek to the mall in order to take advantage of their back to school fashion sales. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control involving a flat tire, an intransigent, she uses these crazy words I've never even heard of before, <laughs> hunchback and untimely solar flares, I got to the mall about four hours late. I was able to make up most of the time because I had a list of things I needed, which allowed me to bypass shopping and proceed straight to buying mode. The last stop on my list was a shoe store and I got there just as they were closing. I tried to talk to the store lurk into giving me just a few minutes, but she did not understand zombie. So she just rolled her eyes and said, sorry, we're closed and started to pull down the roll-up security door. This caused the whole day to come crashing down on me and I started to fall apart. It was then that something remarkable happened. An arm reached out around from behind me and stopped the closed door from closing. Then through my tears, I could see that the door was being pushed back up and the store's lurk's eyes had gone very wide. I do not know where she came from, but Claudine, perhaps the most intimidating girl at Monster High, stood there in full alpha mode. She said she had a list and that it wouldn't take long. And since you're trying to close five minutes earlier than your posted hours, I suggest you open up and wait on her. The lurk swallowed hard and said, of course, Miss Wolf. Claudine put her arm around me and said, come on, ghoul friend, let's try on some shoes. It was one of the most enjoyable shopping experiences of my short zombie life. I even bought an extra pair on Claudine's advice, and when we were done, she and her brother Claude gave me a ride home so I didn't have to take the bus. It is unfortunate that Claudine is still angry at Cleo because of the way Cleo and Claude's relationship ended. In retrospect though, I suppose Cleo should not have started dating Deuce the day after she dumped Claude. But what do I know about relationships? The shoes are absolutely sublime. Thank you, Claudine. August 20th. I made the acquaintance of a new girl today. Her name is Frankie Stein, and although her understanding of zombie is quite rudimentary, she only asked me to repeat something twice. She had many questions about what it's like to be a zombie. Her inquiries showed a remarkably limited knowledge of zombie life and culture, but I was happy to oblige in her quest for knowledge. Her first question was, why do zombies only speak zombie but write in vernacular? 
Okay, she did not use the word vernacular. <laughs> Anyways, I told her that it was a function of our unique zombie physiology. Actually, I believe I said it is the way we are made like a werewolf gets doubly hairy and ferocious on nights with a full moon or a vampire not being able to go out in the sun without totally covering their skin. It just is. I look forward to getting to know Frankie better when school starts. She is monstrously sweet. August 31st, I received my Zombies Are Monsters 2 t-shirt and bumper sticker in the mail today. The bumper sticker will have to go on my wall until I get my license, but I will proudly wear the t-shirt under something else because I hate drawing undue attention to myself. Yes, I am being contradictory here. I want to make a statement, but I don't want to be noticed while I'm doing it. Why a statement? Well, it is not as if zombies are treated poorly by the legacy monsters, but sometimes we do get treated like background noise, which is a little disheartening. Yes, we only speak zombie. Yes, we slowly shuffle along. Yes, we often appear to be devoid of personality, but the same observation could be made about any teenager. Regardless, I am just as special as any pedigreed monster. Speaking of pedigreed monsters, my eye coffin just went off to remind me I'm supposed to meet Cleo Denial tomorrow. September 1st. Spent the day at Cleo Denial's helping her get her class schedule organized. While Cleo does have the reputation of being arrogant and demanding, which she is at times, she can also be generous and helpful. How does she help me? It is hard to socialize when you are as shy as I am, but Cleo will not allow me to sit on the sidelines. When we first became friends, she took me around and introduced me to everybody, even Claudine. Now I am included in every social event and I have so many good friends at Monster High that while I'm still shy, they will not allow me to be invisible. I am still closest to Cleo though because she took a chance on getting to know a quiet and nerdy zombie girl when she really did not have to. September 6th. Although I have enjoyed my time off for the summer, I am eagerly anticipating the resumption of the school year tomorrow. I know that I am unusual in this, but school is where I get to focus on my two favorite activities, acquiring knowledge and spending time with my friends. All right, you guys, that is everything. The rest is in French. Let's see if there's anything hiding in the back. Nope, it's all French. But sorry that's a little bit long that's why i put it at the end of the video but this is what gulia's diary says and i really miss the dolls coming with diaries because it's fun to read kind of like how their thoughts are what's going on in their lives and it just like helps you get to know the character a lot better i love gulia and again i'm so happy to have her and if you guys stayed this long thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my little storytelling um i know some words are a little bit hard to pronounce because gulia tends to use some really big intricate words but i tried my best if i screwed something up i'm sorry but yeah this is the end of my video i love you guys so so much and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>